guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Lexi, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, then you should definitely hit that button below. So for today's video, I wanted to show you guys 10 different ways how to style or wear bandanas. And this trend has been very popular lately um, during the summer, so I figured I would show you guys different ways to wear them. And each style is pretty easy, I just figured that maybe you guys will get some inspiration from this video. Um, so yeah, other than that, let's just get right on into the video. <laughs> So to start off, I'm going to be folding my bandana in half and then I'm going to be flipping it over around my head and then once I like how it sits and it looks, I'm just going to go ahead and tie a knot in the back of my head and most of these looks are easier to just watch but I figured I would just do a voiceover just to kind of explain as we go along. So once you are okay with how it looks, this will be the first style. It is super cute and so easy. For style number two, I'm going to start by folding the bandana one inch width apart and then placing the bandana around with the ties underneath. Once you like how it's sitting and how it looks, then I will be tying the ties underneath. And then I just find this hairstyle is quick and is perfect for keeping your hair away from your face in the summer. you guys that I am doing a $500 value giveaway at the end of this video so if you guys are interested in that make sure you guys stay to the end of the video and give this video a big thumbs up for more details other than that let's just keep going right on into the video for style number three I'm gonna start by putting my hair up in a ponytail personally for me I like to make it more messy and then I'm gonna start by pulling out some pieces around my face and once you like how it looks, I'm gonna go ahead and secure my hair with a ponytail. And then I'm gonna be taking this red bandana and I'm gonna be folding it from underneath upward. And then once you like where it's sitting, I'm just gonna go ahead again and tie that with a knot. I personally find that it looks better when you tie it and then twist it as you can kind of see me doing. And then another option is you can also go ahead and tuck your little ties underneath the bandana. And this is going to be the final look. So to start off style number four, I'm going to start by taking about a half an inch inch sections in the front and I'm going to be pulling those out. And then once I'm done that, I'm going to be taking my bandana and I'm going to be wrapping it underneath my hair and then pulling that upward in between the two sections that I just left out. And then when I like how it looks and where it's placed, I'm going to go ahead and secure that with a knot. So to start this look off, I'm going to be pulling up about 2-3 to three inches of hair on each side and then once I like how that looks, I'm going to go ahead and secure that in a ponytail. So once I'm done securing the knot, I'm going to go ahead and take my bandana and I'm going to start by sectioning my hair about 2 inches width apart from the front and the back. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my bandana, placing it upward, and I'm going to be tying it right in front of where I put that ponytail. And then when I like how it looks, I'm going to go ahead and secure that knot. And then I like to just pull on some pieces to give it some volume. And this is the final look. So 
So for this style, I'm going to go ahead and put my hair up in a top knot. Again, I prefer the messier the better. And then when I like that, I'm going to go ahead and pull out some front pieces to frame my face. And then go ahead and secure that with a ponytail. So now I'm going to be taking my bandana and as you can see here I'm going to be working from the little end and working my way to the longer end. So now I'm going to be wrapping the bandana underneath and putting the ties on top and once I like how it looks I'm going to go ahead and secure that with a knot. So for look number 7, I'm going to go ahead and tie my hair in a low ponytail, and then when I like how it looks, I'm going to go ahead and pull out some face framing pieces. And then once I'm done that, I'm going to go ahead and secure that with a ponytail. So then I'm going to grab the bandana, and I'm going to be putting the ties underneath so they are hidden. And then once I like where it looks, I'm going to go ahead and secure that. And then I'm just going to pull on the ponytail a little bit to add some volume, and this is the final look. For style number 8, I'm going to go ahead and section two front pieces out in the front. And then I'm going to grab my bandana, wrapping that underneath my hair, pulling it upward, and then tying that in a knot. And then I'm going to move all my hair to one side, and I'm just going to do a easy three-stranded braid. So then once I'm done the braid, I'm just going to go ahead and secure it on the bottom. And then I'm going to go through and just pull on the braid a little bit to make it more bigger and messy. And then this is going to be the final look. It's so cute and so girly. For style number 9, I'm going to go ahead and start by pulling up my hair half up, half down, and I'm going to end this right behind my ear, again pulling out some face framing pieces, and then once I like how that looks, I'm going to go ahead and secure that with a ponytail. So then I'm going to be taking the bandana and I'm going to be wrapping that around the ponytail and then I'm going to turn that around and then tie it one more time and then once I'm done adjusting it how I like it, this is the final look. So style number 10 is perfect if you like wearing your hair down but you want to do something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sectioning my hair off in the midsection and then pulling that upward for now. It doesn't have to be neat or anything. And then I'm going to be taking the bandana and placing that right in the middle where we sectioned off our hair. And then once you like where it's sitting, I'm going to go ahead and secure that with a knot. And then you're going to want to go ahead and put the top hair down and just play with it a little bit until you like it. And this is the final look. I also wanted to show you guys, if you guys have these head scarves, this one, I have this one and this one. And I wear these two different styles. I figured I would just show you guys anyway since we're doing a headscarf video. So the first way I will do it, I mean they're pretty like self-explanatory. Um, but I like to just wear this one like this. It's super easy and so cute. And I just like to give it some volume at the top here. I think it's so boho and cute for the summer. I'm like literally obsessed with wearing these. And if you're having a bad hair day, you might as well just throw one of these on and it's perfect. What I also like to do is put this one on like this. And then what I like to do is grab at the top here and you're gonna slide it backwards. And just adjust it. So when you're happy with it, 
so that's usually how I like it and then since you have a lot of like this stuff going on back here what I like to do is just tie it in a really small knot or you can tuck it in whatever is easier for you so time for the giveaway I'll be giving away one of our glam by Lex seamless clip-ins 22 inches double drawn and whatever the winner is we will be color matching the hair color to you so if you guys want a chance to win this giveaway you have to be following both my accounts my glam by Lex one and glam by Lex hair extensions I will leave the links below like that photo and make sure to comment and tag a friend the more comments the more entries for you guys so make sure you guys go do that and I'll be announcing the winner on May 17th so good luck so other than that this is all for today's video if you enjoyed this video or it was helpful give it a big thumbs up make sure you follow all my social medias and turn on my post notifications and other than that I will see you guys in my next video bye guys